Hello, Stuart Carey here with Parkway Church with a word for your Wednesday. Last week we began talking about the spiritual significance of clouds and how God has used them through the years to relate to His children. Today I'd like to pick up in 1 Kings chapter 18 where the prophet Elijah had prayed for rain. He sent his servant some seven times to look for even the slightest evidence that God had answered his prayer. And of course, six times the servant came back and said there's no evidence to be seen. There's just simply nothing there. But on the seventh trip, the servant sees a cloud the size of a man's hand. Just a small bit of evidence there that showed that not only had God heard Elijah's prayer, but that the answer was on the way. How many times have you prayed for a miracle? And you've gone time and time again to look for the evidence thereof, and it seemed like there was nothing to be seen. But all of a sudden, maybe on that seventh trip, maybe even on your tenth trip, you began to see just that little bit of evidence, and you knew that God had not only heard your prayer, but that your answer was on the way. At the transfiguration, we're told that a cloud came and overshadowed the Lord Jesus Christ along with Peter, James, and John. And Peter, reflecting back on this incident many years later, said it was the magnificence of the glory cloud that he remembered the most. And lastly, but certainly not least, the significance of clouds in our redemptive story. Uh, play the role in not only Jesus Christ's ascension back to heaven after His resurrection, but also in His imminent return. After His resurrection, Jesus took His disciples up on a high mountain where we're told He was taken up and a cloud received Him out of their sight. We're also told that likewise, with clouds, He will come again. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17 state, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Just as a cloud received the Lord up into glory, Clouds will also receive us when we go to meet Him. Every day when I step outside and I see clouds in the sky, I can't help but have the thought, could that be the one that He's coming back on? Because one thing that you can take to the bank, one thing that is absolutely certain, is that He will return for His church. He will return for His own. I hope you've been encouraged today, and as always, if this video has spoken to you, please share it with someone else. Please feel free to post your prayer requests in the comments below. We would always love to know about you, your situation, so that we can not only pray with you, but also pray for you. Remember that Parkway Church loves you, Brother Stuart Carey loves you, and most of all, the Lord Jesus Christ loves you. I bless you today, in Jesus' name.